god. Holy sh... That's gnarly. Alright, we got a rocking system here. Alright, we got a couple packages from... That's all that looks like. sad part is is it's hard to tell but there were actually six by nine holes here and we repaired them and now we gotta cut new ones in because we decided to do it again so you won't see the six by nines when the interior is done it'll be under the interior it'll be perforated and the sound will just come through it so you won't be able to tell they're there but they will be there so we gotta get these in first because we're gonna have some space issues for our sub box going back here once we get these in. So before we build our sub box, we're gonna go ahead and mount at least this one so we can get some new measurements and uh, make sure everything's gonna fit right. So not to mention that it's gonna be kind of difficult to cut it this way, but I don't think I can cut it from the top without damaging stuff. So. We're going to do it from the bottom. Uh, we'll just put our riding goggles on and uh, try and keep it as clean as we can. Well, I really didn't want to do it that way. I didn't want to throw sparks everywhere. We do have nice windows, nice glass that's already in this thing. So here's what we as much protection as we could around here. And if you notice, there's nothing on there not a spark mark nothing so we were good we were real careful we took our time slow i didn't really try not to cut all the way through i just tried to score it and then kind of break it by hand afterwards it worked out pretty well so we'll clean that up drill our holes and uh, test fit our first speaker Six by nines mounted up in there. Let's see how it looks on this end. Oh, I can't see it. All right. So our voice coils are over there, sticking up a little bit, but I'm pretty sure with the upholstery and everything, it'll clear fine. It'll be flush. So just realized we got a couple more packages. I have no idea what this is. Let's find out. Wrapped up nice. Ah, our six and a halves for the front. So that's nice. This feels pretty light, so these might be our tweeters. These are our tweeters. They're nice and small. And I'll show you where we're going to put these real quick. We're gonna hide them up in here just underneath the headliner. Probably glue them up there. And uh, wires are already ran. I don't know, again, some nice extra sound, I think. It's always hard to get the sound up high. We usually put the speakers down low in the kick panels or in the center console. And it's always hard to get the sound up high, so I think this will help. Most of the 6x9s being in the deck lid, you should be able to 
get some sound out of this thing. It should sound pretty good. So we're still waiting on the subwoofer, another amp, and the head unit. And uh, that stuff probably won't be here until next week. So i um, not going to probably build the sub box until I uh, get the sub here. I want to make sure everything's mocked up in cardboard or something before I build it. All right, we got uh, one of those six and a halfs mounted in the kick panel there. Flush back there, so it'll be behind the upholstery as usual. All right, one more side to go. Oh, all done. I realized as I was going to take it off from the inside and I saw a shadow of something moving. There's some sort of little spider in there. He's been trapped in there all day. All right, we got all the tweeters mounted. In the corners. So I carefully sanded all these pieces, the edges that needed to be sanded. Um, everything seems to be sitting extremely flat, so that is a very good sign. For being hand cut, it's difficult to do that. Um, so I use my belt sander to clean those up. Um, speakers should be coming today and the other amp. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on putting this together, getting it glued up. I'm gonna build a port into it. So I still gotta cut the port. Um, so let's go ahead and get this together. <laughs> I left a little scribe on the bottom to be able to cut it down because as you see it is actually hitting the 6x9 right now. So we'll go ahead and probably cut that scribe off and it'll fit perfect. And our 12 will sit right here. We need to go back a little further probably. So yeah, that cutting that scribe off will help. But otherwise we're looking pretty darn good. There's your ported box. We'll get our 12 here in a little bit and throw it in there. Pretty soon we'll see hear how this thing sounds. All right, so we figured out where we're gonna position this modular head unit now. This has a cord and there's not very much to it, but it's gonna make it fit where we need it to fit. We'll just hide that right underneath the center console there. So I figured out all my wiring, got that hooked up. I'm just waiting for my delivery so we can get the rest of this hooked up and try it out. I was just about to call it a day because I'm waiting on stuff. And then this shows up, but I really need the subwoofer to so mount the amps. All right, now we just got our other packages. Wow. Pretty big, but I think it'll fit no problem. So that's our Pioneer speaker with a gigantic magnet on it. All right, well, it's a little late in the day today to get that mounted up, but uh, first thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna cut a hole in that speaker box, get some carpet on it. See you tomorrow. And we're back. Good morning. So, got some carpet, so we can finish that box up. We got our speaker, and we're gonna cut our hole. So let's get to it. All right, she 
She's all in there now. So we're gonna have to build some standoffs off this box a little bit. And we'll put a ramp rack right there, mount our ramps, start wiring stuff. And then we'll have to build a fascia board. But... Ooh, it's a steamy one here. All right, we got our amps mounted. So it took me a minute to figure out how I wanted to do this. So we got that spaced off away from the sub. This has to be able to open to access the battery. So I put that on hinges. There's our battery back there. So we'll put this, make it so it latches somehow. Put a screw in it or something. And then we'll build a fascia plate. So all you'll see is the face of the amp and that's it. All the wiring, everything will be hidden behind it. All right, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. that it's like a sweat box down here in Cali right now um, well hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button up here more Heimlich hot rod videos over here and check out the 670 off-road go-kart if you haven't already down here and have a beautiful weekend everybody <laughs>